Welcome to Municipal Affairs. I'm Christopher Brown. We have been traveling across the province of Saskatchewan in preparation for our live Saskatchewan Provincial Election Night special live on YouTube on October 28th. During our journey, we connected with mayors, councillors, and other key stakeholders to understand how this election will shape the future of municipalities. And as it continues to unfold this election, you will not want to miss the Scoop Political Briefing newsletter. It is your go-to source for daily updates on the biggest election stories, party strategies, and yes, even candidate advertising. I certainly took advantage of it during our Cross Saskatchewan tour these last few weeks. So sign up for free at the scoop.ca. That's the S-K-O-O-P dot C-A. And get your essential insights about this provincial election delivered straight to your inbox. Today, we are joined by Warman Councillor Richard Beck, who will share his perspective on this election and its significance for municipalities and the residents of the province of Saskatchewan. Attention Saskatchewan. This election season, Municipal Affairs is hitting the road in partnership with SUMA for the Saskatchewan provincial election. Join us on election night for live coverage straight from Regina on YouTube featuring exclusive insights from municipal leaders and stakeholders across the province. We will be capturing their reaction to the results and be diving into what the new provincial government means for municipalities. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan to hear directly from local leaders about the issues that matter most to you. Plus, this fall, we will be traveling across Saskatchewan starting September 30th to hear directly from local leaders like yourself about the issues that matter most. This is your election covered like never before. Municipal Affairs, your trusted voice from the grassroots to the government. Councillor, uh, provincial election is now on. Uh, you're probably watching it as a municipal representative. What are you seeing so far from the party leaders or even your local candidates that gives you optimism heading into uh, another term of municipal council? Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, what I see is the uh, like the leaders reaching out, really really seeing what, what resonates with, with the people of Saskatchewan. So, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, uh, um, Making sure that the issues that are important to people are rising to the surface, and and uh, certainly offering solutions to uh, you know uh, you know to to correct those out there. As a representative for your own community, is there anything that you're specifically looking for from the party leaders, whether it be Premier Scott Moe or Carla Beck, leader of the official opposition, that you can hold hopefully hold on to to help your community grow and continue to prosper as it already has been? Yeah, um, you know, uh, certainly here within within Warman, uh, with this year, we 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 do lack some of the. Um, some of the health care uh, services that uh, and that some of the other larger communities have out there right so they're again like we are like ninth you know uh, largest uh, community uh, within Saskatchewan and to not have like that like that like like the, like those medical offerings uh, certainly a bit of a challenge right and that thing and and also this year like our ambulance service is is certainly under like a little bit of stress and whatnot so there's been like a bit of a band-aid solution that's uh, that's um, that um, you know, you know that's that's operating within our community. However, we need something a little bit more solid from your local candidates because the provincial issue is health care. But you're going to be talking to your pro local candidates. I'm assuming during this campaign, is there a certain issue that they're you're hoping they'll raise, whether it be that health care or whether it be something more municipally that you can help them sort of work on if they are elected after the successful provincial election? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, certainly, like the dialogue with our with our local candidates are uh, you know certainly important. Uh, right now, we we haven't had that chance to meet uh, with this year. Uh, like there are um, you know some opportunities for that dialogue you know to happen in uh, certainly like that open forum. Um, so you, you know um, you know certainly like the healthcare aspect you know uh, you know to have that uh, to have that conversation uh, would would certainly be important. Um, yeah. So, and from the local perspective, as a municipal representative. Of, is there one thing that you're hoping for like you specifically as a voter as someone who gets to cast their vote what are you looking for from your next provincial government to address 
in the realm of municipal issues, but also personally as well. Yeah. So, like, like one of the things you know uh, from the municipal side, you know, you know that that is really important is. Um, you know, certainly like the capital infrastructure and like the PST, you know, you know, you know, that that municipalities pay. And, you know, uh, you know, this year I certainly understand, you know, let's say like the fairness out there in terms of, hey, everybody pays, you know, like the same PST, for, you know, for the projects and, and whatnot. But when you look at uh, municipal investment, right, and that can, like there again, that's to serve everyone. So with that aspect, you know, to not have like that PST aspect um, or like, like, let's say pay it but then also you know if that there was to be fully refunded back to the community that would really really help for these large capital infrastructures and um you know and, and that just doesn't affect warm in here that certainly affects everybody you know within the pro province because where the growth is happening that's where the additional cost is and you know like there again if we could you know um have that avenue of, of being able to collect that back more more than just the municipal revenue sharing right and that kind of thing um you know because like there again like that's a like that's a portion of the pst but uh like there again you know you know to have to have that aspect uh, really return back to communities i think would really support you know the infrastructure and the investments that we know that are so valuable and, and needed by by communities Last question for you, and what's the message you want your residents to know about this provincial election, particularly when it comes to municipal issues or even their issues themselves? Is there a message or a key thing that you want them to take away and think about before they cast their ballots? Yeah. Um, for both provincial and municipal, there's one one common value, you know, that I have in that kind of thing, and that is leadership matters. And you know, I mean, like we we can we can sometimes argue over the process and and you know, let's say either political or um, you know, so you know, like the civic governance aspect and whatever. But there again, leadership in terms of being heard with this year, you know, finding appropriate actions and solutions to the problem and then follow through on, you know, let's say on those. So, um, yeah, with this year, overall, good governance, but listening to the people and, uh, and responding to what's actually needed out there. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. We just want to take a moment and ask you to do one quick favor for us. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You will not want to miss the upcoming episodes around the Saskatchewan election, but also you will not want to miss our special election night special live from downtown Regina, where we will be discussing how this election will impact the municipal landscape over the next four years. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if you're listening to this on audio, head over to our YouTube channel, Cross Border Interviews or Cross Border Networks, and subscribe today. And if you haven't already, be sure to head over to the scoop.ca and get that insightful newsletter delivered directly to you every weekday, directly to your inbox. I use it as a resource when I was traveling across the province of Saskatchewan, and it is a resource that you surely will want to have. And your support has been wonderful over the last few weeks and over the last few months and even last few years. So we truly appreciate you taking time and watching and listening to all these great episodes and great interviews that we've been putting out. So stay connected. Stay informed, and we'll see you next time here on Municipal Affairs. Mm -hmm.